Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm showing you how to set an autoresponder confirmation email for the Divi contact form. So whenever someone comes to your site and fills out the form, they will actually get an email that confirms that, they, that you received it and it can also have contents of their form, you can have files, you can have you know the, the actual dynamic form fields like um, thank you for your message, we'll reply to you email, and then it can say like here's what you submitted, and you could put in like the merge tag for all of the entries that they submitted, um, the fields. So this is a really important thing if you have the Divi contact form. It's really that simple. And you know, obviously the Divi contact form does not have this feature by default. So we are using our Divi contact form helper plugin, which is definitely one of the most popular plugins in the world for Divi and it's used on uh, most sites by now. So if you don't have it, um, you'll have to get that to use this tutorial and to set up this confirmation email. So I have the blog post here. Um, you can go over and you can follow along. I have screenshots and you know explanation of all this. So I guess first of all, real quick, why would you use a confirmation email? And it's it comes down to like three, well, three things or so. You know, it's that reassurance that they received it um, it's also that connection, you know, you immediately like feel heard, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and we've all been there. We've filled out forms and sometimes you don't get anything. And then sometimes you'll get it. And it's just that connection that can be formed. And then like the tone and branding, you can customize it. You can, you know, you can say whatever you want to say. Like you can put actually like a, an expectation, like, Hey, we'll get back to you within, you know, whatever, two business days or, or whatever it is, you know, you're, you're able to actually set that right there in that confirmation email. And then just the customization is so easy. Um, and I'll show you that. All right. So the first step, like I mentioned, you will need to install our plugin, the Divi contact form helper. Um, if you're a member of our all access Divi adventure club, that's included. So you can head over there and get that. And then once you uh, log in to your website, Actually, let me just remind you, this plugin upgrades the existing module. It does not add a new contact form module. It upgrades the existing one in Divi and adds settings like directly into it, okay? So that's important to know. That's, that's a huge selling point. In fact, let me just grab a, a demo site here. So here's a form. Um, I just set up, you know, whatever is default here. When our plugin is installed, you will see admin email and confirmation email, and then, you know, entry preferences and all these other things, right? These things are not going to be here if you don't have our plugin, including the confirmation email. So you can just open that toggle. And in fact, here, I had it, had it enabled, but that's okay. This is how it would look. So it's not enabled by default. So you would come in here, enable that. Then as soon as you enable that, you're going to see these extra settings. And so let's talk about them. Like I said, I have them mentioned over here on the blog um, in detail. And then you can also go over to our documentation. In fact, the documentation actually would have some additional info, just like some important extra info. But anyway, real quick. So this first field, the reason we added this field right here, some people have multiple email addresses in their form. So you may be filling in details, you know, person one, here's their email address, person two. And then, well, where should the confirmation email go? If you were just using like the default email field, right? It would just go to them. But the reason we added this field is if you have multiple email fields, you have to specify which one it's going to go to. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And it will be the form ID, or, sorry, the field ID. All right, next is the email subject. And you can customize this however you want. Here, I have an example I just wrote, you know, this is just dummy stuff here. Confirmation, your request to, and then I have this merge tag that's gonna automatically fill in your site name has been received. And you can put whatever you want here. Um, the merge tags that come in our plugin are so helpful. There's a lot you can do with these. So um, while we're talking about this uh, subject, I guess one thing you could do is like an entry number. So an entry number, if you added this to the subject, it would put a, a number and that could represent, you know, like a, almost like a ticket kind of, you know, like a, a number for that to identify it. 
you can customize the confirmation email from name. You know, you know, for mine, I want might want to say Nelson from PA Creative or, or whatever. Like, like personalize it. Like, like keep it on brand. You know, um, and then the the confirmation email from address, and that could be whatever yours is. And make sure you have your SMTP settings set up for that. Now for the confirmation email, I just have some dummy text in here. So I kind of made it as if they're getting a PDF. So as soon as they uh, submit the form, it's like they're getting a PDF. And that's actually one of the features of our confirmation email. So this attachments feature, this number here would be the ID of your attachment in your media library. And I have instructions for that in the documentation. So this is just reading kind of like hey, here's your free guide, you know, that you signed up for. So it's kind of whatever. You could use it for that. Just one of the use cases for this confirmation email. Um, you could also use the rich text formatting. So when I enable this, it kind of switches. So so this is like if you, if you just need plain, but watch this. See, now I can actually write this. And I have already, I already put this in here as a, as a, a demo, right? So here I could make something bold. Um, you know, I could make something italics, I could add a, a bullet list or, or whatever, like, like it's a rich text editor, so you can do those things to it. Um, I could, you could even make something like a heading, whatever you want to do. So that's, that's really neat that you can do that. And again, I have all this mentioned on the blog post in detail and even more detail in the documentation. So there you go. We have, let's see, I think 115 main features in this plugin at the time of this recording. And so you can check all those out and you'll benefit from all those. It kind of makes the, the very basic Divi contact form into like a premium form. So it's kind of how I think of it. Um, it doesn't have every feature that like some of the really expensive premium WordPress forms would have, but it, I'm telling you what, it has a lot. Um, so it's worth a check. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Um, this is what we do. We do tutorials every week here on the channel. So subscribe and that's what you'll get. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.